Hi, uh, I'm Anand. I'm from Bangalore. Um, I uh, do technology leadership consulting um, and uh, software architecture uh, for a living. So uh, the course I came across, um, the quantum computing course, and uh, was interested in quantum computing and the faculty and the wonderful facility at uh, IIT Madras. So I enrolled. So I got a mailer um, or uh, rather ads that came up um, for uh, quantum computing. And this was when I was searching for quantum computing courses. So there were uh, computing offers from IIC, uh, from IIT Delhi and IIT Madras and they chose IIT Madras. It, quantum computing is, uh, is definitely destined to happen. So it helps me prepare to be able to understand and look at what are the you know the new solutions what sort of uh, advances that are happening keep relevant and be able to participate in the um, you know in all the advances and also be able to use it in uh, solving problems i have uh, chosen this quantum computing course to know about uh, the latest tech because it's, it would be a latest big tech in future so i decided to learn this course and uh, try to understand what is happening in, from the basics. I got to know it from Nagaro and I was very fascinated with physics. So when I heard the term quantum, so I thought it is something that I have to learn. So that's how I started my journey in quantum and it's been one year I would say that uh, we have been going through. And now, just now I have completed my certification in quantum computing from IIT Madras. The course was divided into two parts, like the basic and the advanced. In the basic, we have got the foundation and knowledge in quantum. And yes, I explored a lot from outside content. And uh, you have to understand about quantum mechanics. And most importantly, I would say mathematics. Because classically, a lot of things you can understand, you can imagine, right? Something is going on. But if I talk about quantum, then mathematics is the only way that you can understand something, what's going on behind the scene. Special because the way it was structured. So all the module, starting from the very first, it was structured so well that I could connect all the module one by one. And especially the live session. So we had uh, two hours of live session every weekend, that is on Saturday. That is a chance we used to ask a lot of questions and I really grateful to all of the professors. They did a lot of, they did great job to clarify all those doubts. For me, it's not uh, like I used to learn quantum every time, like sometimes I'm walking or maybe I'm eating every time I'm learning about quantum and quantum. So as I, as I am keep on saying like the basic part that you have to understand. So during this time, I also, I also learned about quantum mechanics from different codes. So that is what helped me to connect some of the points uh, from the different module. Uh, so myself, uh, Moni Shadwani, I'm from Capgemini, a uh, senior solution architect, working on data, cloud and AI components. Uh, so uh, as, as a data warehousing, cloud, AI pieces evolving over the time with the technology being you know, so, not, so much of dynamic pieces coming in, right? Uh, the quantum is something which started also, you know, interacting with the AI pieces. That's the reason, you know, I, I was just looking for some course where quantum and the AI could married with each other and they could, you know, uh, help in the future solutions upcoming. Yeah, it, it was good. Uh, we have recorded sessions. Also, we have uh, live interactions on Saturday uh, where we could clarify our doubts, right? And, and there was uh, good good people around in, from various industries so it was also a good kind of exchange of information from various point of views. Uh, from 2017 onwards I am uh, working with, I am associated with the NPTEL. So I am very closely associated with NPTEL, mostly many courses I have seen and uh, I have learned like how well planned, they are doing very much well planned courses and it is very much benefited for the faculty fraternity. For in this particular course, if they have at least uh, making like a one week continuous uh, hardware setup with and uh, we are working with that particular live hardware setup. So I think it will be very much useful for all the participants uh, to work with uh, in the real time scenario. Quantum uh, computing, I was introduced by my colleagues who already uh, came into uh, the quantum cryptography. Uh, but then I explored it and found out that quantum is not only about the quantum cryptography, it is more than that and there are lots of uh, uh, other domains where it has been used. 
so that's how i got introduced to the quantum uh, computing yes this certification program is a kind of laying the base for me it has exposed me from the basics to the all the uses areas domains uh, like quantum cryptography it has introduced uh, to me quant qiskit applications quantum mechanics quantum machine learning and also the uh, how we can uh, solve the optimization problems so uh, it's kind of base is laid down for me and now uh, i have a guidelines a path uh, in front of me so based on my use uh, problem statements and interest so i can explore further and i'm definitely i'm going to continue it uh, yeah okay so i would uh, suggest everyone to go take uh, this quantum computing course because it has uh, it is not into mainstream right now but uh, after a decade the picture will, will be completely different and there are a lot of things which i have learned in this uh, two semester courses it is started from basic mathematics which i learned a long ago okay and in the second semester it was physics chemistry mathematics everything regarding the uh, regarding quantum and in, in all different aspects right whether it's a cryptography whether it's quantum chemistry whether it's sensing quantum machine learning and things like that right the list goes on right so there are a lot of areas where people can work on since i come from bfsi background right so what i will do is uh, actually i started doing a puc on fraud detection and spend analytics on quantum machine learning so hope i will complete them soon and will be able to share those as well with my nagaro colleagues and followed by it people the learning experience is really good okay uh, i have done some live sessions after a long long time right because uh, normally what we see in uh, available on the in, on the net is the video recordings right and even if you really want to ask questions right it is very hard but now you have someone to whom you can actually connect to and you can talk to them right plus there are discord forums and things like that so people are there who are able to who are eager to help i would say right so things are there and it actually helped to learn learn these complex things very easily so thanks to the professors of it madras especially prabha ma'am 